Well, I'm delighted to now welcome online um, um, Irish country artist Bernie Healy. So welcome to the programme, Bernie. Hi, Declan. How are you? I'm fine. What about yourself? Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much for having me and, and inviting me on the show today. I'm delighted to, to be able to chat to you. Yeah, no problem, Bernie. Um, you have your, your new album, which is out at the moment. Um, tell me just a little bit about the album. Yeah, the new album, Plenty of Steel, the, the name comes from my love for the steel guitar, actually. My father was a steel player, and I absolutely love it. And, and when I'm in the studio recording, I always say to the, the producer, hey, listen, put Plenty of Steel on that. So the, that's how the name came. So it's Bernie Heaney, Plenty of Steel. There's a mix of everything on it. I've, I've tried to kind of include old songs and, and new songs. And, and there's a, I think there's... Um, Hopefully, there's something for everybody on the on the album. The the kind of I had a huge hit with Johnny Brown, so that's on the album as well. And um, some old favourites of mine, Strong Enough to Bend, and Maybe the Locus. So it's it's going very well, and I, I absolutely am delighted with the album. Yeah, and uh, your love for the music. Where did that um, first start with the, um, going into the Irish country music? Yeah. Um, well, I lived in Ireland, and then we moved to England um, in the 80s because Dad was working there. So I was in Coventry for a long time in a huge Irish community in Coventry. I actually used to work in St. Finbar's Club in Coventry, and um, I used to collect the glasses there at the weekend, so I would see all the big bands. And, of course, my own father was a steel player and a singer, and he would have done the circuits around Coventry, even London sometimes he'd go. And he'd be singing. He was kind of very much like, um, I suppose, Slim Whitman, that kind of old country kind of music. And that's actually where I, I, I learned all these songs. And, of course, my dad was a lorry driver, too. So I used to skip school and go off in the lorry and be listening to all this amazing country music in the cab. And that's where I would have learned a lot of the the music and then playing the guitar was just a sort of a natural thing because there was guitars all over my house so like to pick the guitar up there was plenty of teachers there and someone would always show you a chord so yeah that's probably where it all started with well, is where it all started from mm-hmm. actually you know I suppose my father and my mother was a great uh, country singer as well yeah and uh, your inspirations in the Irish country music um who would you say your inspirations are when recording uh, music? Um, well, of course, all the old classics, the Tammy, Loretta Lynn is uh, absolutely one of my favourites, and um, Tammy Wynette would be another one. But also, um, homegrown Philomena Begley, I used to love, and I still love Eileen King, Gloria. All the women in country really inspired me because um, I love songs and I love stories as well, and I love to hear a woman. I love to hear the men as well, but I love to hear a woman telling a sad story. So, yes, a lot of the uh, female artists would have influenced me over the years. Yeah. And uh, the um, song Johnny Brown, which, um, of course, um, it was a, a um, very good um, hit there. Um, um, tell me just a little bit about the song Johnny Brown. Johnny Brown was always played in our house. And actually, um, I have three children. They're not so much children anymore. Um, they're big now. And um, I used to sing Johnny Brown to the children all the time. And my eldest daughter said, Mom, why don't you just record Johnny Brown for us? And then if you're ever gone, we'll have it there. I said, well, thanks very much. You know, subtlety is, is, isn't one of our qualities. So I did Johnny Brown, actually, especially for my children and for the memory of things that we used to sing it along in the car. And I met Seamus Shannon at the Liam Clancy weekend. And they say never meet your hero. He's an absolute gentleman, and I love him. So I asked Seamus, could I record Johnny Brown? And he said I could if he could play the box on it. So, I mean, what an honor to have Seamus, the man who wrote it, actually playing the box on it. And and subsequently, myself and Seamus have become very good friends. And um, we're actually recording another song together, believe it or not. But, yeah, so it, that's how Johnny Brown come about. I wanted to do it, and the kids wanted me to do it. But then when I met Seamus, it was absolutely meant to be, I think, you know, especially when he said he'd play the box on it and everything. So that's how Johnny Brown came about, and it's been a great song, great song. Yeah, and that song must be a, a um, great song when um, going around to all the dancers and gigging around there. Say that to me again. Um, that song, Johnny Brown, um, it must be a um, great song to um, play when you're going around to all the dancers and kicking around there. 
Oh, absolutely. The floor is full when I play Johnny Brown. I mean, everyone just loses the run of themselves, and it's great to see that they'll be up on the tables, depending on the venue. But yeah, Johnny Brown gets some going, and then we, we throw in whiskey in the jar and a few others along with that set. But Johnny Brown is definitely the song that gets them on their feet. It's, it's, it's The Sally Gardens, of course, everybody knows that, that, that reel, and it's, it's really is a great... It's a super song, and, and it really does get people up swinging and dancing, and it's lovely to see it. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, to see people enjoying themselves, you know? Yeah. And um, if people want to pick up a copy of the album, where can they go to pick up a copy? Yeah, they can go to um, irishmusic.co.uk. Um, that's that's where the album, that's the album, that's the record label that's doing the album. Or they can contact me on Facebook and I can get an album to them. And I actually have a website, but it's actually just been reconstructed at the minute. It's just under, under you know, it's getting upgraded. So they could get it from the website when the website is up and running. But otherwise, Facebook and or irishmusic.co.uk have the album. Okay. And I mean, I think it's in a lot of... I think it's in the Tesco's and a lot of the, the, the record shops as well. So it's, it's out there and it, it's, um, it's, a, it's a nice album. It's great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Benny, for joining me um, this um, afternoon. Um, I know you'll, you're probably busy there. So um, thank you very much for coming on the show and uh, wish you all the success with the album. Thank you. And can I just say a quick hello to Paul Griffin? He's a Facebook friend. And to Caroline J. Hart, who lives in London, she's a, she's a, she's a good friend of mine as well. She often comes to Ireland um, singing herself. She's great. And, of course, Paul Griffin, then, is a, a Facebook friend of mine. And I know he's listening in this afternoon, so big hello to Paul. And, of course, thank you so much, Declan, for, for, for um, inviting me on the show today. I'm very, very grateful. And um, thank you for your support for playing the songs. I appreciate it very much. No problem, Bernie. And I hope to speak to you very soon. Okay, then. Thank you, Declan. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. God bless. There was a man called Johnny Brown And he lived alone outside of town In a cottage rough and tumble down By the wild and the rugged mountain He had a dog and he called him Jack And he kept some chickens out the back He played the tune as you went past He called Sally Garden Oh yes, there we go, Benny Hilly and Johnny Brown. 
And uh, a lovely track that is there, Ting, from Benny Healy's album there called uh, Plenty of Steel. And um, I want to thank Benny Healy there for taking the time on the business schedule to come on the program today.